Hello and welcome back everyone to Lama Lana Randomizer and in this episode we'll be going through the Temple of Moonlight. Do not use your weapons in this room or in this series of rooms because if you do you will get struck by lightning and you will become the deaded. Oh. And that is what we do not want. Jesus. Well how the fuck are you supposed to figure that out? Just The game's just supposed um, to kill actually, you first? Actually you get told that if you actually have the Glyph Reader and, uh, and the uh, uh, Glyph Reader and the Hand Scanner. Oh I see but in this room we're okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is a... That is one of the shortcuts. That shortcut specifically takes us into the bottom half of, of Twin Labyrinth. What? We will, uh, what? Be, we will be doing... We will be going up there eventually. Jesus. I mean... I mean, mind you, like, sh shortcuts usually do not make sense until after you appreciate the trajectory of the shortcut. You know, like, like Dark Souls. It doesn't necessarily have to make sense. It's, you know, a well-placed ladder here, a kick downstairs there. And then, and then it become, and then it becomes a pathway that you can count on. All right, be careful here, uh, because we still don't have the perfume. It takes us, a, it takes us a bit to kill these skeletons. But once these skeletons are dead, we can open up that chest. There we go. Nice. If you fall down there, you can't get back up for a bit. We got the Miracle Witch. Uh, Miracle Witch is one of the software com uh, one of the uh, pieces of software combo that allows us to eventually summon specific fairies. Uh, it'll take us a bit in order to actually get a specific uh, the other uh, fairy parts that we need. And since we're so low on health, we're gonna warp out and go heal. There is a hot spring on the far left side of town, and uh, you can sit in it for free healing at any point in the game, assuming that you have the Holy Grail to get back to the surface. So can your homeward bone there take you to other places, or can you only ever warp back into the village? Uh, the uh, checkpoints that we've been uh, passing that give us that give us that quick save notification are also Grail points. They will allow us to warp back to those areas, assuming that we have uh, uh, have, have actually walked past them. Normally, you're supposed to read those, but I've got the specific I've got the specific ran uh, randomized randomizer enhancer that allows me to just walk past them in order to activate them. This is a convenience, and it is not necessary for the game, but I specifically want it. Bullshit, it's not necessary. It saves time. It saves a shitload of it time. It saves shitloads of time. Yeah, this axe is pretty dope. This axe is fucking amazing. It, uh, the axe for Lama Lama 2 is significantly slower, but it hits harder. But because it's so significantly slower and has a lot more recovery on it, it's not as useful. Mm. You don't. You, you want to be strong, but you don't want to be too slow. Right. Um, what we're doing now is we're gonna go do the Mechery check, and the Mechery check uh, would, if we had both Mechery and Miracle, which we could use uh, that software combination in order to summon key fairies. But I don't remember what the Mechery check in this, uh, this time is actually going to get us. You can see a bit of the tent uh, uh, on on the graphic. Now, sure. this this jump is a bit <laughs> difficult to do without boots, but you but you do need to do this. I, oh, I didn't see what we got. What did we get? Uh, we got the crucifix. That's what we got. The crucifix will protect us from a particular enemy type that doesn't exist yet, like uh, vampires. No, it's not a vampire enemy. It's not even a vampiric enemy either. Thankfully, uh, there although there are there is technically two uh, variants of the of a vampiric enemy in this game. They don't actually heal themselves when they drain you. They just drain you. Well, I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, they they do that for sustenance. I mean, it was never it was never written in the classic lore that vampires can regenerate by drinking blood. They just that's how they survive. It's their food. Kind of like yeah. if I take, it, you know, if I get a scuff on the knee and I take a bite of a ham sandwich, it's not going to do anything for my knee. <laughs> well, not immediately. <laughs> not but those immediately. calories, uh, but those calories uh, will eventually be get tra uh, transferred into, uh, you know, uh, bodily energy. Yep. And that bodily energy will then be used in order to uh, attempt to heal you. Yep. Antihistamine, platelets, clotting, all that good stuff. This is spring in the sky. We should not be here without the helmet, but a good portion of the time, the helmet is is hidden away in spring in the sky. So that's why we're here now. That is a fish with legs. <laughs> yes, there are, there are multiple different uh, fish enemies in this game. They are amphibious. 
This is the Chakram. The Chakram is the best sub weapon in the game, although it has very limited ammo. Be careful how you spend your Chakram ammo, because you because it is relatively expensive to replace and very difficult to find. This is the woman statue. It is used for a multitude of puzzles in the game. Nice. Specifically, it turning into the maternity statue. And uh, we can actually go do that right now, but it's kind of gross and I don't want to do it yet. Is is there is there like a placenta involved? Uh, no, but there is semen involved. Ah. So paternity. <laughs> Whoosh. Thankfully, we had the scale sphere, so we don't have to worry about taking too much damage from the water here. But unfortunately, I went down the wrong hole. Dang it. Quick save. And so we have to go climb down this ladder in order to get the stuff that we want. I like how that warping prompts a quick save. That's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. At least it does if you're warping from at least one room away. Damn it, evil fish. Oh, cool. Your Indiana your Indiana Jones avatar on the right of your of your inventory screen, he will actually change what he's holding depending on what you're equipped with. That is cool. Yep. Leon Nas Kennedy did that. And we got Yagu Map Street. This is the second of the Yagu uh, of the Yagu Map uh, uh, software pieces. We still need the first in order to be able to see the maps that we do have. Although we don't actually know what map we have at the moment. Curse so. this archaic ar operating system. Mm. All right. Sure. And here, this is this normally is a coin chest. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've had progression locked behind this coin chest multiple goddamn times. This time it's just move. A uh, move is used with the Lama Lana software. Yes, the Lama Lana One has uh, has software for Lama Lana One inside it. Don't ask how that how that fucking works. It's uh... and if you use a uh, move and Lama Lana together, you'll increase your you'll increase your whip type weapon damage by I think it's two. Might only be one, but I think it's two. Nice. Pull the pl pull the plug on the bathtub. No, well, that's actually pulling the lock on the bathtub. Now we have to go hit the chain in order to pull the plug. Drain the water. Explore the dry. Two, three, four, four five, 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 six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, nine ten. ten. Ten hits. Which means it would have been faster to use my knife, but I don't... I Wait, I, I got the... Did I get heat proof or waterproof case? I got heat proof case, so I can't change weapons in water yet. We're back to Temple of the Sun. We still don't have the helmet, so uh, waterfalls are still super uh, in in encumbering to us. But the reason why we're here is because since we have the Origin Seal, we can access this particular lock. Whee! Nice. By unlocking that, it opens up it opens up both of these doors. Now, now the bottom door, specifically because this isn't an entrance rando, is very important to us as it will give us access to the Chamber of Extinction. The chamber, chamber of extinction <laughs> is dark. Very dark. Light is extinct in this place. Very much so. Now, we have to hit this particular mural, mural of the bronze mirror. Um, you do that in order to open up this particular segment. You'll notice that we now have access to this, uh, this room that has all these pots in it. Hmm. And they have money. Not only is there a shitload of cash in this in, in this uh, in this area, there's also some ammo, and there is this treasure chest. Normally, this treasure chest would have the bronze mirror in it. Now it has a bunch of cash in it. Yeah. There. Now we have more cash to go buy more weights. For the record, one of the first things that I recommend you actually doing in Lamalana is getting enough cash to buy 100 weights. Because if you purchase 100 weights, that should get you through a majority of the game, regardless of uh, regardless of however many weight puzzles you in you intend to do. Is the weight puzzle is, is, so? Whenever you go up to one of those uh, one of those pedestals, you put a thing on it, and the pedestal sinks in the ground. That's a weight puzzle. Yes, that is a weight puzzle. Okay, so that was a weight puzzle right there. That's a skeleton. Mm -hmm. And that weight puzzle opens up this chest. Which is yet more coins. Jesus. Damn it. Can you say no stone unturned? Um, I can, but the problem with that is that it's not actually true. I don't think I 100% this run. 
I think we skip out on either Guild or Zelpud Mailer. One of one of those two. I'm just talking about game completion, man. Like you, like I've already, I've already witnessed like a whole shitload of secrets that I would have passed by without thinking much of it. Yeah, randomizer really, uh, really expects you to know where all the goddamn uh, bonus coin chests are. Because if you do not know where they are, then you end up screwed. Yeah, don't don't do a randomizer if it's your first time playing as, the game. As your first run, do not do a randomizer. You will get lost in a game that yes. it, that assumes you are going to get lost. Yes. Once you have done your first one or two playthroughs, though, I actually do recommend picking up the randomizer. The randomizer is so goddamn fun to go through. What we're, what we're trying to get right now on this trip through Chamber of Extinction is specifically the Grail Point, so I have a, so I have easy access to it. Fuck you, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, stop hitting me, damn it! No, the Grail Point is just down that away. Try again. You have infinite retries as long as you don't die. Yes. Hey, an Ankh Jewel. Deep. Everything's for sale. Pass, Gurdette. Damn it, we need that Ankh Jewel. And I'm out. Adventure time, huh? Thank you kindly. Evil Pass, Gurdette, not buying the Ankh Jewel. But, yeah, that's why. I was trying to save up for the Gauntlet. So now, so now the Axe is actually the second best weapon in the game. We got rid of its slow attack speed. Nice. Just like that Dark Souls 1 glitch that I've seen speedrunners do so they could complete the game in 38 minutes. I thought the current record was was just under an hour. Well, 38 minutes is under an hour. It's because... No, I, I could have swore it was like 55 minutes or something. Well, they, they probably didn't... They, that might have been the DLC free because, because the run that I saw used exploited a glitch that involves items that are only accessible in DLC. Ah, okay. Okay, now that we have the axe and the serpent staff, let's go kill us an Argus. Woo! Is it a jellyfish? It is not a jellyfish. Oh. And thank you for the link to the password, friends. Ahem. Hi, Argus! Three, five, now, you do have four, to wave the five. serpent staff at him first in order to actually be able to damage him. Quick. If you do not do that, yeah. well, um, yeah. he just he just walks into you until you get pushed off the screen. Oh, he's one of those bosses. Hmm. Yep. Climb. And this chest would normally be the feather, and now it is Zelpud Mueller. Damn it, Zelpud, I don't want to talk to you. It's me! I'm bored! I will talk to you when I get the diary, and not before. Evil Zelpud. Woo! Alright, so, where are we off to? Uh, Mausoleum of the Giants? Uh, we, yeah, we don't have really have a good reason to be in Mausoleum of the Giants right now. The only thing that's left for us to do in Mausoleum of the Giants is fight Socket, and I'm not fighting Socket without Shuriken. I'm trying to figure out what the hell these crawling creatures are. are these are ant lions. Ant, ant lions? Yes, they're ant lions. Oh, because they're part ant and they're part lion. I thought that was a blanket on his back. No, that is an, that no. is a thorax with, with little legs sticking out of it. That is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, on your first playthrough, are one of the most consistent enemies to drop coins. So if you want to farm coins relatively fast, what you want to do is get yourself a Luck Fairy after you get the Isis Pendant. And then... Oh, that's right. We're not going to Amphis Banner quite yet. We're going to go solve what, what I refer to as Ice Cape Chest because there's another coin chest in Mausoleum of the Giants that since we have Chakram, we can easily get now. It's that one down there, but we also have to do this one here. Oh, there. You know, it was only in... Mostly <laughs> the Giants usually takes me multiple visits. I don't like that it do takes me multiple visits, but it does. Damn it, I missed the jump. Well, it takes you fewer visits than it would take for me. I was going to say All that right. um, this, this game uses a lot of weight puzzles. And as I recall from Raiders of the Lost Ark in that very famous scene where Indiana Jones switches out the the Ark of the Covenant for a sack of money or whatever, that was like the. It's not the Ark of the Covenant. It's the whole. Isn't it? The, it's no. It's not the Holy Grail either. It's 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 some it's something important. The Nazis wanted it, and he had to f and he had to solve a weight puzzle in order to do it because if he did not solve the weight puzzle, he was going to be trapped and or crushed by a hazard. Uh, wasn't it? Wasn't it one of the Simeon puzzles in uh, Raiders: of The Lost Ark? 
What was the... Um... No, not Raiders of the Lost Ark, but Temple of Doom. I didn't see Temple of Doom. Oh, okay. There, we made the jump this time. Well, I mean, it was just to say, I never really saw Raiders of the Lost Ark, but I did see, like, a bunch of snippet scenes. Like, I saw the scene where he's just Professor... He was just P Professor Jones. Damn it! And, and when he gets the thing, and when the Nazis are chasing him, and, and probably mixed in with other movies that are not necessarily part of the same plot, but it's the same universe. No, honestly, all that stuff no, it sounds like it's from Last Crusade, but... <laughs> I d I've not actually seen uh, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, or Raiders of the Lost Ark all the way through. I have seen Crystal Skull all the way through. Oh my god. I saw it god, in theaters Chris with my buddy Jonah. Yep, I saw Crystal Skull in theaters with my buddy, and it was probably right around the end when I realized that I had been had. <laughs> um, actually, I enjoy Crystal Skull. I understand it's not the it's not the Indiana Jones pe mo uh, movie people wanted, but I still think it's a relatively good action, action adventure rom. I still our fourth sacred orb. Nice. Technically our third sacred orb, but yeah. The Gate of Guidance. Mm, all right. And in the next part, as as we continue as we continue on, we are going to go and fight Amphis Bena, our first actual our first major boss. Nice. Killing Amphis Bena right now is not important, but I want to do it because it's uh, because it's an interesting uh it's an interesting stopping point for the first hour. Hey man, we got the axe. We got the axe upgrade. We are ready to kick some axe. Yes. And then we'll go fight Elmac, because Elmac is actually important. Little Mac. Be safe, everybody. Zubat. <laughs>